Hi, my name is Shrey Kuller and I am the product marketing manager for ST60 in Americas. Today, I am excited to share two interesting demos using ST's latest 60 GHz RF product. ST60 is a brand new product family from ST Microelectronics intended to rethink contactless connectivity. It is used to create 60 GHz point-to-point ultra-low-power contactless links. ST60A2 is the first in the family. You would need a pair of these devices to create a half duplex link between two digital systems at a very short distance. It picks up any serial data stream from one side, converts it into 60 gigahertz RF, and recreates the data on the other side, essentially working as a RF buffer. The design philosophy here is to replace cables and connectors while retaining wire-like characteristics. This tiny device can offer a raw bandwidth of up to 6 Gbps in less than 5 mm square of footprint area. It is extremely power efficient with a total power budget of about 65 milliwatts for the full link. We support both consumer and industrial temperature ranges with these devices. Engineers often ask me, what is the benefit of 60 gigahertz? Well, firstly, 60 gigahertz is an unlicensed band in most regions across the world. It also gets quickly absorbed in air, so it doesn't travel too far of a distance, making it secure by nature. For full context, let us look at how ST60 compares with other wireless technologies in the market. The chart shows ST60 has a similar power profile as an NFC or a Bluetooth, but the key differentiator is the high data rates of up to 6 Gbps. The chart on the right compares the range of ST60 device. You can get a range of few millimeters or to up to 10 centimeters with small passive antennas. You can see the range is very similar to an NFC, but the speeds are much higher. Bluetooth has a longer reach, but uh, lower speeds. Wi-Fi, Wi-Gig are power-hungry equivalents, but offers much longer range as well. The main takeaway from this slide is that ST60 with its differentiated value can open up a new market with new product form factors. Our customers are using ST60 in several diverse applications. Let me share a few. In a smart factory, the rotating joints, hinges in a robot can become completely contactless, improving freedom of motion and reliability. A 360-degree camera, a spinning LiDAR, can upgrade from traditional slippering designs to a low-noise, high-bandwidth connection. Video walls are another popular use cases. These are usually comprised of small LED tiles. With ST60, these tiles can become completely contactless, making installation or replacement of a broken tile just like you would do uh, in a Lego block setting. Factory automation is probably the number one use case we are seeing. If you have devices manufactured at mass scales, on an assembly line, each device is physically plugged in. You download the firmware, you run diagnostics, unplug it, and you pass it on the assembly line. A contactless link with ST60 can greatly improve the throughput of the assembly line and boost reliability. ST60 can enable fast data sharing across devices where frequent docking and undocking is involved. Examples include firmware download and field or extending displays of small devices. Another emerging trend is in industrial safety. A galvanically isolated RF link provides immunity in intrinsically safe applications such as fire and safety, oil and gas. The miniaturization of personal electronics continue and you can imagine there's not enough space for open cavity physical connectors. Foldable screens, detachable screens, and tablets are another major trend we are seeing. With that, it is time to look at the two demos. The key ingredient of this demo is the USB 2 discovery kit. You must use a pair of these for remote and local device to talk to each other. It comes in both Type A and Type C USB connector. For this demo, we will use the Type A version. A closer look will show you an STM32 microcontroller for setup of the board, an embedded USB 2 repeater chip which converts 3v3 voltage levels to 1v2. At the extreme of the board, we have an ST60 chip and a low-cost PCB antenna that can easily be printed on common FR4 materials. Here is the full setup showing a camera freely rotating on a plexiglass disc and exchanging video to a stationary disc below. I must say there is no physical cable tethered to the camera both the data and power are wirelessly derived. But what problem does this solve? Currently, many applications such as 360-degree video camera, a robot with a free rotating arm, a spinning LiDAR, 
a drone camera, all use mechanical slip rings for data exchange. Slip rings are known to have poor performance when higher bandwidth and higher reliability are a must. Contacts can get worn out over time, resulting in product failure in the field. With ST60, having no galvanic connection provides natural protection to mechanical stress and immunity to high EMI environments. On the remote side, a UHD camera is connected to the ST60 USB 2 discovery kit through a plain USB cable. Both camera and the board are powered by an off-the-shelf wireless power RX coil and an RX IC. The local side has a wireless power TX coil, an IC, and ST60 discovery kit. The whole setup is deriving power and data from the USB port of the laptop. When we hook up the USB board to the laptop, the USB contactless camera is automatically detected without worrying about additional drivers. In the live streaming app, we just switch from the built-in camera stream to the contactless USB camera stream. In essence, the ST60 devices are completely transparent to both the remote and local side of the USB port. So what materials can this device work with? The 60 GHz RF works very well with most non-conductive materials such as glass, wood, cardboard or plastic. As you can see, inserting a piece of plastic between the RF link does not interrupt the live stream. Thank you for watching. Let me show you another demo. This demo is based on an Ethernet eval board built by a partner company, EPS. The board supports a maximum of 1 Gbps Ethernet speed. You will need a pair of these to create a full duplex Ethernet connection. Each board comes with an RJ45 connector, an SGMII5, two ST60 ICs, and two horn antennas. The horn antennas are specifically designed for 60 GHz RF of ST60 device by a partner company, Radial. So what problem are we solving? Here is a PoE camera live streaming via a wired Ethernet connection to a PoE switch. PoE means power over Ethernet standard, which defines power and data delivery on a single Ethernet cable. It has gained popularity in smart building and smart factory infrastructure. Say if you need to install a PoE camera on a glass exterior of a building, you will need to drill a hole, which you can imagine is not a good solution, especially when the number of PoE devices scale up in a building. Let me show you how ST60 can create a no drill connection for your camera connectivity. In this demo, we are live streaming a remote PoE camera through the glass wall onto a cloud streaming app on a smartphone. There is no physical cable across the glass wall. Both the data and power are sent across wirelessly. Let us take a closer look at the local side of the link. The PoE switch is representing the power source equipment in any smart building application. First, we split the PoE signal into native Ethernet data and DC power using an off-the-shelf PoE splitter. This is the Ethernet module which we saw earlier, sending across the Ethernet data via 60 GHz RF. The power transfer is managed by another ST solution composed of wireless power coil and a TX IC. On the remote side of the link, we have the same Ethernet module to reproduce the Ethernet data. Complementary wireless power RX IC and an inductive coil completes the power delivery. In total, the bandwidth of the whole setup is set at 100 megabits per second for data and about 5 watts of power. As you can see, 60 GHz RF signal has no problem coexisting with the magnetic radiation. So how does contactless Ethernet compare with the wired Ethernet? In the lab, we ran several latency measurements and found out that ST60 contactless Ethernet has very similar characteristics as what you would get in an Ethernet wired line. Here, we are doing a real-time panning of the camera in an app and you can see the display changing without any lag. Once all the individual pieces of data and power come together in a product, the contactless PoE concept will only require you to snap a camera onto a glass wall. Thank you for watching. You just saw how to use ST60 in combination with a standard wireless charging solution to create a truly contactless link. USB 2 discovery kit and Ethernet dongles are a great way to build prototype with ST60. You can also run a full evaluation of the technology with the fully equipped eval board we have. To get started with ST60, please reach out to your local ST sales contact.